Hey guys, in this video I want to showcase a mod that I've been really enjoying lately, which is End Remastered. It completely overhauls how you find the end dimension, making exploration and mob hunting one of your main priorities. You can find the link to this mod in the description, and it's currently available for Minecraft 1.16.5 at the time of this video. One of the biggest changes this mod makes is that traditional ender eyes are no longer required for portal frames. Instead, you'll have to find 11 new eyes which are provided with this mod. I'm going to list them all out. You should know that you won't always find an eye, as there's a chance they won't spawn, and you'll have to keep searching. Firstly, there's the old eye, which can be found in desert pyramids, and once belonged to one of the great sandworms. Check the chest at the bottom of a pyramid to find it. Just be careful for any TNT traps. The nether eye can be found by searching chests inside a nether fortress, and was lost by a demon during a battle between the ether and nether. Cold eyes can be found in igloos, an artifact left behind by iceologers before they disappeared from the world. Rogue eyes can be found inside jungle temples, and is believed to have given our ancestors redstone. Temples are really hard to find, but when you do come across one, be careful as they also contain traps. A black eye can be found in buried treasure and supposedly gave sight to the legendary Black Pearl. You'll want to obtain a map from a cartographer to find buried treasure. Magical eyes are dropped from evokers, who use it for its power. The easiest way to get your hands on this eye might be by starting a raid at a village. Corrupted eyes, which are said to be owned by a greedy king, can mostly be found inside pillager outposts. This would be a good time to get the Bad Omen effect too, so that you can start a raid to find an evoker. The Wither Eye has witnessed lots of destruction and can be obtained by killing the Wither. To find a Guardian Eye, you should search for an ocean monument and kill some Elder Guardians, as they'll have a chance of dropping it. The Lost Eye can be found by searching mine shafts, specifically in any chest that you come across. It was forged by the first blacksmiths. Finally, there's the End Crystal Eye, which requires you to mine the new End Crystal Ore, which can be found in Bastion Remnants and Basalt Deltas you'll need to combine four end crystal fragments with an eye of ender to craft it. You're going to need at least one of each eye, but maybe grab any extras you find for just in case. As you can probably tell, finding all of these eyes isn't going to be an easy task and will require a lot of exploring in combat. The final item that you'll need to power the end portal frame is a core. The unpowered version can be crafted by placing eight obsidian into a crafting table alongside a netherite ingot. It'll then be powered, which can be done by adding a diamond, emerald, lapis, gold ingot, and four redstone to the core, again in a crafting table. With the previously mentioned end crystal ore, if you gather enough crystals, you can make a full set of armor and tools from the material. It provides around the same stats as netherite, but you'll receive the regeneration effect for one second after doing a critical hit. If you have the full set, then the effect will last four seconds instead. There's also an end crystal horse armor, which you have a chance of finding. With all the items needed to reach the end in your inventory, you'll need to find one of the new structures included with the mod. The first is the end castle. To find it, you should trade with a cartographer who will provide you a map, which will show you the way to the castle. When you reach it, you'll find that it's a very large structure, which is beautifully crafted. Although it's full of villagers, so you'll want to be equipped with good armor, weapons, and food. You'll notice a large courtyard in the center of the castle, which has some market stalls and stores which are full of chests with loot. There's lots of useful blocks you can harvest too, such as smokers, cauldrons, and anvils. Going into the main structure, it's mostly made up of corridors that have the occasional chest which contains some basic loot. Some of the side rooms coming off the castle are libraries, sleeping areas, and kitchens. One of the larger areas is the throne room, which has some secret areas which contain higher tier loot, but I don't want to spoil that for you, as it's really worthy of exploring. For a quick trip to the nether, you can light the portal frame just off the throne room. The church is another large room, which features a lectern and enchanting table. The second structure is the end gate, which is a replacement for strongholds. Unlike the castle, they don't require a map and can be found by using some of your new ender eyes to determine the location. Just like with a stronghold, it will show you the direction to head towards and when you should start digging down. The end gate can be found deep underground and you'll have to find your way to the portal room. It shouldn't be too easy as there's around three puzzle rooms you'll need to beat to open the passageways. Although they aren't really necessary, 
as you can just cheat and break through the walls, but there's not much fun in that. There are different types of puzzles. The ones you receive are randomly chosen. Some are mazes, some will require you complete redstone challenges, and others will require you to craft items. In both the end castle and the end gate, you'll find the new end portal provided by the mod. There will be 12 slots, so set your 11 eyes that you should have collected into them. There's one more slot which holds the powered core, and this should be filled in last, and it should be easily distinguishable, as it will be a darker color. The portal will be created, and you can jump straight into the end. This mod doesn't change the dimension in any way, it only changes the actual process of finding the portal. That just about covers everything you need to know about this mod. Personally, it's one of my favorites that I've discovered, and I've featured it in quite a few videos. In Minecraft, it's never actually a requirement to go exploring and search all the different structures in your world, so I like that this mod really puts emphasis on exploration. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more.